Meanwhile, back at Johnny's workshop, today's DIY project is a music tablet stand. I'm going to pull away from this to give you an idea of what's going on. You can see here we've got uh, a typical chair which you would probably sit at, guitar, and the stand itself. The most important thing here is the stand height. It's only running about two feet high. That gives you an idea when you're playing your music. You can look across, well, first of all, you can look down at your tablet. And you can also look across the tablet because of its height and see everybody else playing their music, their guitars, cording, picking, whatever. And you can also see them. They can see you, you can see them. And I'm assuming that most people are now starting to rid themselves of all their sheet music that what they would normally have in binders and sitting on normal type music stands where you can't see them pick or play or chord. They give you a chord of A maybe, but you still don't know exactly where they're going. So having this height here, you get to see everything. They can see everything you're doing. Now what I'm going to do, I guess the most important thing is here, it's kind of a stand that just holds everything in place. There's nothing gripping your tablet. You have room for uh, your tablet and or a, in this case, a recorder or a harmonica, whatever. So I'm going to kind of quit this uh, video right now and move to the shop and do some details, give you some idea of the details of how I actually made this, put this together. It's pretty self-explanatory, but let's do that. Okay, so we're back at the workshop now. To give you an idea of how I've constructed this uh, DIY tablet music stand. You can see that it's all made out of, actually, it's actually, the whole thing is made like for five bucks or so. It's actually made from a, you can see this is just a clipboard. Your typical Dollarama clipboard. Now I'm just I'm going to remove the tablet itself. Gives you an idea of the construction. You can see that it's it just cut from the tablet or from the clipboard. Now the most important thing is we turn this upside down. You can see how from an angle. That's a piece of toe two by four just cut and glued on there. That's all set at 45 degrees. That's the most important thing is the elevation or the slope. Move back a little bit here. You can see that the construction. Got a shelf on the bottom, the sides. A little bit of overlap. You see the overlap. Everything's just epoxy together. And you can see that the uh, this little the nodule here is actually what fits into your stand. Okay, whoops, I had to, I had to go to the uh, shop and actually get the the stand to bring that in to see how this all fits together. This is just a regular old music stand, not old music stand, but a regular music stand you get like for twenty bucks, that kind of thing. And you can see where how this it all fits together. Let me hold it there. Oh yeah, it just lifts right in and spins around as you necessary. Ooh. A fantastic concept there, especially when I think how cheap it is to make it. Uh, what else can I show you here? Uh, oh, if you don't have a a, mm, a donor stand to get this little other little piece, this is just three inch diameter. You could use three inch three eighths inch diameter bolt, and that would work fine for fitting into your tablet stand. And it's adjustable for any height. One thing I could tell you that's kind of imp not important, but the thing is, it all is very compact. It'll fit into a gym bag with all your other stuff that you might want to take for a gig or to sit around in a music circle. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, that's pretty much about it. It all folds up very nice and comfortably. It's got a coat of brown fl flat paint on it. Anyways, that's it. Oh, a little decoration here. Great tool. Used this in Arizona over six months when I was down there for the winter. And uh, everybody loved it. And everybody decided, hey, you know, I need something like that too. 
but the ones that are out there commercially, they kind of just grip your tablet and that, and they, well, they just look kind of awkward. And uh, this is a, this is really perfect. Anyways, that's all from the shop, from Lord Johnny's workshop. That's the wallet for now. Oh, there's an old banjo that looks like it needs some work. Okay, that's it. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.